हाय वेलकम टू दिस वर्डप्रेस वेबिनार मैं हूं आकाश पडियार आज हम डिस्कस करने वाले हैं वर्डप्रेस क्या है वर्डप्रेस पर कैसा वेबसाइट बनती है सो आई होप यू गाइस आर रेडी टू लर्न द वर्डप्रेस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग दिस वेबिनार राइट सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द वर्डप्रेस हाउ टू क्रिएट अ वेबसाइट विद द हेल्प ऑफ वर्डप्रेस सीएमएस सो लेट मी गिव यू सम एजेंडा आज का एजेंडा क्या है सबसे पहले हम लोग देखेंगे वर्डप्रेस क्या है क्यों वर्डप्रेस इतना पॉपुलर है एंड देन हाउ टू क्रिएट वेबसाइट विद द हेल्प ऑफ वर्डप्रेस सो स्पेशल थैंक्स टू सेशन डैगड़ वाला सर जिन्होंने ये चांस दिया एंड सिग्मा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग दिस वेबिनार ओके सो चलिए हम स्टार्ट करते हैं विदाउट वेस्टिंग योर टाइम सो सबसे पहले हम डिस्कस करेंगे पीपीडी जिसमें क्या है थोड़ा बहुत थियरी है I know theory is little bit difficult, but it's okay. Uh, we will we have to learn some theory. Ki Q is not popular hai. What is CMS? What is frameworks and other stuffs? Okay. So now let me start with the first PPT. Okay. So hello WordPress. So let's talk about the WordPress. So what is WordPress? First of all, so what is CMS? उससे स्टार्ट करते पहले व्हाट इज सीएमएस सीएमएस स्टैंड्स फॉर कंटेंट मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम राइट यू नो वेरी वेल नाउ इट इज व्हाट वी नीड वी नीड अ वेबसाइट विद अ डायनामिक फंक्शनलिटी लेट्स से इफ आई वांट टू चेंज समथिंग कंटेन इमेजेस देन विदाउट राइटिंग द कोड आई लव सीएमएस राइट बिकॉज़ सीएमएस में क्या हो सकता है कि आप कंटेंट जो है पूरा मैनेज कर सकते हो यू कैन पब्लिश द कंटेंट यू कैन एडिट द कंटेंट एंड यू कैन मॉडिफाई इट राइट एंड विद द सेम Website we can manage with the multiple users, and it provides a collection of procedure used to manage workflow in a collaborative environment. Let's say, uh, let's say if I planning for website, right? And website in the middle, what I have to do is that I have to invite users to invite them so that they can manage the website and they can update the content. Yes, the session will be recorded and it will be uh, uh, available 24 by 7 with the help of this link. You can watch it later. Okay. बट ना राइट नाउ यू जस्ट फोकस ऑन दी कंटेंट और आपको इसके साथ प्रैक्टिकल नहीं करना है जो जस्ट फोकस ऑन दी कंटेंट ओनली ओके सो दिस आर द फीचर्स ऑफ सी एम एस सी एम एस अलाउस यू टू मैनेज मल्टीपल पीपल वी कैन मैनेज दी मल्टीपल कंटेंट एंड वी कैन अपडेट डिलीट एनी कंटेंट एनी टाइम एंड वन मोर थिंग रिड्यूस द डुप्लीकेट इनपुट्स लेट से इफ यू आर क्रिएटिंग अ वेबसाइट विद द हेल्प ऑफ हार्ड कोड so maybe there will be a chance to duplicate the content right and simply report writing so let's say if you want to uh, modify your content if you want to design your content as per your choice with the help of some you know editors are there with the help of that editor you can modify it right okay so what is next so there are so many cms are available in the market so number one is a wordpress joomla magento drupal typo3 and plus 50 plus CMS are there in PHP, right? So, what is PHP? What is WordPress? Okay, no problem. Let's start with the what is WordPress. Okay, so WordPress is a number one PHP CMS, and WordPress is a free and open source blogging tool and content management system based on PHP and MySQL. Don't worry if you don't know about the PHP and MySQL. No problem. Here we are not going to write any single code, but yes. the wordpress is develop in the php and mysql platform right so we have to uh, set up the environment in our local computer let's say we have to install the zam and that's it so which runs on web hosting services let's say if you have domain name and hosting then simply you can install the wordpress in your hosting accounts okay so the founder matt jinona start kiya tha in 2003 they are uh, matt has released the first version in 2003 so why to use wordpress the software is free and open source that is the most important thing we love the open source technology so this this is very easy installation method let's say if we want to install a wordpress it will take only 5 to 10 minutes right not more than that and it's easy to learn and wordpress has used community let's say if you want to uh, download some the plugins themes then community is very large right you can get the so many plugins so many themes are there and you can scale up and expand your website with themes and plugins and the most important thing i love google and google loves seo so seo comes first so let's say 
you, you are planning to build a website and you need a website in the first page in Google. I know it's very difficult, difficult nowadays, but in WordPress, it's a SEO friendly uh, website you can create and you have full control of your website in WordPress. Let's say if you want to modify the content, images, anything you can modify it from admin panel. So the, these are the cool things you can do with the WordPress. You can create a blog. Nowadays blog. Nowadays everyone is writing their own content. They are publishing the content. Let's say a COVID situation is there, right? So everyone is writing articles. Let's say uh, we, we found this kind of vac vaccination. We found this kind of uh, medicines, right? So these are the articles. No doubt we can say a uh, newspaper website is also blog kind of tools, right? We can also create a professional website. Let's say... Uh, any professional website for your business or agency and we can create an e-commerce website same as Amazon right then forum job portal property portal and affiliate marketing website so with the help of WordPress we can create any kind of website right okay so the current version is 5.4 and you can download the older version if you want to download okay so reason to love good evening sir uh, special thanks to Dr. Sesan Degadwala sir, who has given the opportunity here. Sigma Institute of Engineering. Okay. So, reason to love WordPress, the best blogging tool ever. Let's say, uh, I am using WordPress since 2009. I have made my first blog that was made in WordPress. I am going to show you. Hold on. And, quick installation and quick installation and auto-upgrade support. Theme customization. Easy to use, manage, easy to manage the users. Comment, media. SEO and minimum coding and we can include third party plugins over here right so let's let me give a demonstration of my work right I know it's not good right now because uh, this website is created in 2009 when I was in first year of BCA right so this is my first website which I created uh, during my college life in 2009 so it's very simple and it's very uh, you know neat and clean there is no designing at all but here we have two options wordpress.com and wordpress.org so with the help of wordpress you can create your own blog without investing any single penny right so let's say if you are using a gmail you know very well your gmail id is let's say blah blah dot blah blah at gmail.com so gmail is also providing a, a services so same here wordpress.com is a professional tool where you can create your blog like this but make sure here you cannot install third party plugins and if you have, if you want to in install third party plugins and uh, themes, then you have to pay for that, right? But we have second option. This is my uh, second website and you can see this is a custom domain. So here you can see there is no dot wordpress.com is not there. So what you have to do, you have to first buy a domain name, you have to buy the hosting and with the help of WordPress, you can customize your website as per your need, okay? So this is my third website. Again, it's it was uh, my first blog, which I started in college life. Mein. So this is a blogging tool. I mean, we can say it's a blogging uh, website. So here you can see this uh, website. Jo hai, pe main daily ek article publish daily article, right? And this article jo hai, wo may be uh, different different topics. Pe ho sakte the. So whenever user is searching in the Google, and I also did it, so this article came to Google. Mein aata tha, and with the help of Google AdSense, I uh, got money from here, right? But we have to do lots of work for that, okay? So now, how to start your own website in WordPress? So, we have three different options. You can create your website in local PC. You can buy and domain and hosting and you can start your website with the help of WordPress. And the third option is, you can create a free blog on WordPress.com. But it has some limitations, right? So what I will do, I'm not going to, uh, uh, I'm not going to install uh, my website in the domain and hosting. So simply, what I will do, I will go with the first option. We will install WordPress in local PC. And the same process you can do for your domain and hosting, right? Okay, I hope you are agree with that option. Okay. So now, let's say if you are planning to install WordPress in local system, first you have to install a XAMPP software. Either you can go for the XAMPP and that is our second option is WAMP, right? So, apachefriends.org jahan se aap XAMPP jo hai wo install kar sakte ho. Let's say, in my system, XAMPP is already installed, okay? So, what is next? XAMPP is a one software 
for the PHP, if you want to create a PHP programming code, right? So what do we need? We need a XAM software, right? And WordPress is also built with the help of PHP programming language so that we have to install XAM so that WordPress can look, run in a local computer. So don't worry about the PHP and MySQL, just skip this part, okay? Okay, so what is next? Next is installation part. I know installation part is very difficult, but don't worry. First, I will give you a demonstration with the help of this PPT. And in second turn, I will demonstrate it uh, step by step, right? So now you can just focus on the PPT. Then we are going to uh, do the same process in my computer. Okay. So now what is next? So first, uh, what do you need? We need either XAMPP or WAMP and WinZip and WinRAR to extract the software. Okay. So what we have to do first, we have to download the WordPress setup. To download the WordPress setup, you have to visit the wordpress.org website or and .com. Both are different domain, right? .com for the professional website. For means, uh, let's say if you want to uh, purchase something over there, then you can go for that. And let's say you are a developer, you know how to customize the theme, how to customize your website. So you can download the website uh, source code from the wordpress.org. So here, there is an option to download the WordPress, okay? So once you, uh, once you download your setup, you can extract it with the help of WinRAR or WinZip, okay? And you will get this folder. So here you can see, we have so many uh, files, so many folders are there, WP Admin, WP Content, WP Includes, and the other PHP files, okay? So what is next? So you have to uh, create a folder, in your C drive, XAM ASTDOCS. So by default, जब भी हम कोई project बनाते हैं, तो हमको क्या करना पड़ता है? C drive के अंदर XAM, XAM के अंदर ASTDOCS में ही project बनाना है. So यहाँ पे हम क्या करेंगे? Let's say I will create one folder. The folder name is WP, right? So WP and then paste your all the files inside this WP folder, right? जो भी हमने डाउनलोड किया है जो भी हमने एक्सट्रैक्ट किया है वो सारी फाइल्स को मैं यहां पे पेस्ट कर दूंगा एंड व्हाट इज नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज यू कैन सी द WP कॉन्फिग फाइल इज देयर एंड राइट नाउ यू कैन सी देयर इज नो डेटाबेस नेम इज नॉट देयर यूजर नेम इज नॉट देयर एंड पासवर्ड इज नॉट देयर राइट सो नो प्रॉब्लम डोंट टच दिस फाइल एंड व्हाट इज नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट यू हैव टू स्टार्ट द XAMPP आई होप यू नो द व्हाट इज XAMPP हाउ टू वर्क विद द XAMPP इज इट do you know what is XAMPP or WAMP? Yes or no, guys? You can comment in the chat section. Okay. So, once you are ready with the Apache and MySQL, and then simply you can hit the Hey localhost, open the WP folder, right? So, let's say first we have to start the Apache server and we have to start the MySQL database server over here. So, once you are ready with this, then simply you can refresh your page and you will get this kind of setup right so first we have to specify the language right let's say uh, i'm going with the english okay we have so many options over there hindi english Gujarati. you can select any language okay and what we have to do we have to specify some database settings over here right so database means you have to specify the database name database username database password and database host i hope you know about this uh, database stuffs okay so if I click on the next, then we have to create one database inside the PHP MyAdmin, right? So PHP MyAdmin is a UI of your MySQL database, okay? So no, no problem, I will uh, give you a demonstration of the uh, steps. So just be with me, okay? So here we have to create one new database and you can specify the database name over here. Let's say I'm specifying uh, WP. Let's say if I click on the create and database is created successfully. So now just leave it as it is, no need to create any tables over here, okay? So again, switch back to your setup. So here, I have to specify the database name, username, host, and password. So if I click on the next, and here you have to provide your details, your name, username, password, database, host, and everything, right? So by default, you can see my database name is it's not a Chrome, it's actually, it's a snapshot, right? So here you can see the database name is WP, then uh, username will be root and the host will be localhost and password will be blank, okay? So 
run the installation. So simply, uh, once you click on the setup, and you will get this run the install. Okay, and you can specify your website name, username, password, and email address. Okay, so let's say I'm specifying username admin, password admin, and next. So you will get one login panel, and database is created. So no problem. Let me give you a demonstration for this. I know a uh, snapshot is not easy sometimes, right? So no problem. We will start the installation in my local computer. Okay. So now let's say what I will do. So first of all, you have to download WordPress. So simply just go to WordPress.org, right? And here you can see that is button get WordPress. So if I click on this button you will get one download button download wordpress 5.4.1 right so simply click on this and you will download you will get one file from the official website okay so now let's say uh what is my wordpress so here you can see wordpress installation is there so simply right click and extract to file so my extract process is almost done okay so it's done so what is next what i need i need xamp so simply you can search in the google you will get the xamp software and you can install it right okay so it's already there in my system and if i want to open the xamp here there is an icon xamp control and you will get this option okay so what we have to do we have to start the apache we have to start the mysql database and just close this so once you close this, it will store in the system tray. Okay, you can again switch back to over here. Okay, it's done. So now just go to your C drive, then XAMPP, and inside the XAMPP, there will be one folder. The folder name is ASTDOCS. So let me give you a URL of this location. So this will be a location, C drive, XAMPP, and ASTDOCS. So whenever you are creating a new file in PHP or maybe in WordPress, you always have to store these files inside this folder. Okay. So what I will do. So inside the HDocs, you can create one new folder and name it WP. Right. So here I have specified the name that is a WP. It's done. Okay. So inside the WP, what I will do, I will copy these files. So simply copy these files, okay, and paste it over here. So we have to wait for at least uh, 10 seconds. Okay, so it's done. Okay, so we have successfully copied all the files from desktop to my C drive, XAMPP, Pasty Docs, and WP. So simply close this. Okay, and again close this. So now just go to your browser and type, hey, localhost, please open. What is my project name? That is a WP. So if I press enter, and you will get this message. So here you can select the language. There are so many languages are there, but I don't know about other languages. So I will go for the English. Okay, just click on the continue. And let me increase the font. I hope it is visible now. Okay. Yes, it's the same session. It's an introduction of the uh, WordPress. Okay. So welcome to WordPress. Before getting started, we need some information over here. So click on the let's go. So what I have to do, I have to specify the database name, username, password, host, and table prefix. So open your XAMPP panel. Just click on the MySQL admin. Okay. So here, what I have to do, I have to create one database name. Like uh, for an example, it's WP. Just, just click on the create and here you can see WP database is created successfully, right? So here we have to specify the database name that is Bolivia WP. Username will be root. It's a by default username. Password will be blank. There will be no password at all. And simply the local host will be your host and table prefix will be WP. You can change if you want to change with uh, any other prefix. Okay. So simply click on the submit. So here you can see all right Sparky. Okay, run the installation. 
ये आज का जो वेबिनार है दूसरी कॉलेज के लिए है तो उनके लिए ये बेसिक से ही होगा सो so, जो लोग आगे डिमांड करें डिमांड के लिए सबसे पहले मैं बता दूं दिस इज फॉर सिग्मा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज और आज नई ऑडियंस है यहाँ पे राइट right? सो so, आप रिवीजन कर सकते हो यहाँ पे अगर आपको और भी डिटेल में जाना है तो मेरी यूट्यूब के वीडियो में है आप वहीं से भी रिफर कर सकते हो राइट ओके थैंक यू सो यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हो वी हैव टू स्पेसिफाई सम इन्फॉर्मेशन ओवर हियर लेट से साइट टाइटल सो आकाश पढ़िया username will be admin password will be admin so here you can see we are using very weak password so confirm okay and you can specify admin at the rate gmail.com right okay so now let's say uh, we have an option do you want to visible this website in google so by default it will be a visible if you want to hide this just click on this check mark right but there is no sense right now because we are using a uh, local host so just click on the install wordpress so we have to wait for maybe 10 seconds again so you can see the success message is there wordpress has been installed thank you and enjoy okay so now uh, by default just click on the login so here you can see we have username is admin password name is admin and you can check yes it's same and if i click on the login you will get one dashboard right so by default wordpress is providing a dashboard which contains all the required uh, options like media post messages comments menu and so so many things are there so if you refresh your database you can see a by default wordpress has created 12 plus tables okay so just close this it's not required at all but yes everything will be stored in your database okay so now this is my admin panel okay this is my admin panel and if i want to open my user side so simply right click open link so let me give you some demonstration for this so this will be a user panel and this will be a admin panel so this is admin okay so in admin panel you can see we have black menu in left side, uh, in left hand side right and in user side we have black menu in top of the website so you can identify whether it is a user side or you can, this one is a admin side okay so i hope ke aapko ye jo bhi information thi maine aapko batayi so wordpress installation as uh, installation process humne kar liya hai so now let's start with the pages post how to create page how to create post menu and media okay so i can see uh, there are 100 plus people are watching this webinar okay so hold on yes so guys if you have any question don't worry uh, at the end of this webinar we will uh, do a qa section right so you can ask your questions i hope you guys are enjoying this webinar yes or no just write in the chat section okay okay so what is next let's say uh, my website is created successfully over here but it's not a professional website so what i want to do i want to modify it right so i want to modify this uh, website with a uh, n number of pages and number of posts so let's get started with the post so what is post so whenever you are publishing some articles in your website that is considered as a post over here okay so let's say i want to uh, publish an article in my website so there will be a post option but before starting the post let me give an introduction about the categories okay so in categories we can create any kind of categories let's say if i click on the category right so we have this option so first we have to specify the category name we have to specify the slug slug is used for the seo friendly urls right if you are not specifying don't worry it's optional and you can select the parent category if there will be no parent category then select the none and you can specify the description which will also help you for the uh, search engine optimization right so what i will specify i will specify social media right social media marketing so social media is a main category so no need to specify this slug and there will be a no parent so this is considered as a none so it's considered as a parent category so if i click on the add new and you can see social media is successfully inserted and you can see this space is replaced with the 
hyphen because Google loves hyphen. That's why. Okay. So what is next? Facebook is a child of social media category. So what I will do? I will select the social media parent category and just click on the add new. And here you can see social media is there and the child is Facebook, right? So we can specify the Instagram. Okay. And the parent will be social media. Okay. So what is next? The next category will be maybe a uh, programming. Let's say I want to specify some programming languages, right? So what I will do, I will simply write programming. So programming will be a parent category. So no need to select uh, social media, simply select the none and click on the next. So if I click on the next. Okay, so it's done. So here programming agya. Programming, we have so many programmings are there. Let's say uh, Node.js, Angular. I know I'm not going in diff, right? So it's done, I think so. Uh, you know how to create a categories. It's very easy. Let's say if you want to modify this category, just click on the quick edit and you can delete, view and edit this operation. Okay. So category option is done. Category process is almost done, right? So let's move to the post. So now what is post? Let's say if I click on the add new post, you can see we have one editor over here and you can specify some title. Let's say welcome to welcome to WordPress, right? Hey guys, welcome to WordPress webinar. That's it. Okay. So let's say if I want to make it bold, if I want to change the color, if I want to specify the hyperlinks, we have so many options are there. Same as in Gmail, we have what you see, what you get editor. So simply you can select this, right? And you can make it bold, italic, right? So you know the basic things, right? And you can also specify the hyperlink over here. Okay, so what is next? Let's say I want to uh, make it as a drop cap. The first letter, first letter will be uh, capital and the size will be increased. You can also specify the size of default, larger and smaller. You can specify the custom font. You can specify the colors, uh, color, background color, text color. We have so many options are there, right? Okay, so it's done. Okay, what is next? Let's say if I want to add another blocks. So we have so many blocks over here. We have image option, list, cover, audio, code, heading and then common blocks such as a paragraph, gallery and formatting. Let's say if you want to format your layout in a table format, custom HTML, then a code, classic editor, we have this kind of option over here. And you can also embed, uh, we have different different widgets over here and we can embed our YouTube video, our Twitter and so many things are there. Okay. So now let's say if I'm ready with the content, what I will do, I will specify the category over here. So this article is related to uh, maybe programming. Okay. So just click on the programming and then you can specify the tags. Let's say it, it will work same as hashtag. So WordPress, let's say Akas. So it's done. Okay. So featured image means your first image. Uh, it's not required as of now. This option is also not required. Let's say discussion. Let's say if someone is uh, doing comments and I don't want to do any comments, so you can simply uncheck these options, right? And the post attribution, if you want to display in a full width, in a cover template, you can select the template. So in above option, we have two different options, status and visibility. So let's say if you want to uh, display this content at specific time, you can specify the date, right? You can specify the public, protected, password protected, visibility and publish means you can immediately publish this content in your website but let's say if you want to specify the content maybe in future uh, future dates so you can specify the dates okay okay so now let's say just click on the pan, uh, publish again it will prompt are you sure the visibility will be public and you want to publish immediately yes so if I click on the publish so the article will be published in my website so you can refresh this page and you will get option welcome to wordpress hey akas 
Oh, sorry. Hey guys, welcome to WordPress webinar. It's done. Okay. So let's say if I want to add one more content, just click on the plus, right? Not over here. Just click on the plus. Again, you can specify. Let's say without writing the code, what I will do? I will go to my website and simply you can select any article. Let's say command prompt article is there. But I never recommended that you will copy paste article from someone's website because let's say if you are copy, uh, copy article from the uh, someone's website, then Google will block your website in search engine, right? So make sure you will write your own content whenever you are creating your own blog or maybe your website. So content is king, make sure. So don't try to copy content from someone's website. But for demonstration purpose, I'm doing these things so that we can uh, proceed further. Okay, so command prompt. I hope you guys are enjoying this webinar and you are getting my point. Okay, so now you can see command prompt option. The command prompt is my title and this is my content. Let's say this article is related to maybe Node.js, right? So if I click on the publish, publish and it's done. So if I refresh my website, my website, just a second. So it's WP. So here you can see command prompt article is there, right? And you can view the details. Okay. So let's say if I want to add some videos over here, let's say if I search for the YouTube, if I search Akas for here and this is my Laravel webinar. Okay. Just simply copy this link. Okay. And then just go to your article. Okay. So let's say if I want to embed some videos over here. So simply click on the add new and and you can specify learn Laravel in one hour. Okay. So what I will do, just click on the plus icon and here there is an option of embed, right? So in, inside of the embed, you can select the YouTube and then just paste the URL and then click on the embed. So you will get your video over here. So it's done, almost done, right? So if I click on but make sure we have to specify the categories. So my category, again, it's not there, but it's okay. Let's say I want to create one new category. So click on the category and you can specify Laravel and you can select the parent. So programming will be parent and Lara will be subcategory. So if I click on the uh, add new category, so it's done. So Laravel is already created over here and then just click on the publish. So again, sure, publish. Okay, it's done. So just go to your website. Yeah, problem is coming in installation. No problem. I will give you my contact details so you can ping me in my WhatsApp, right? So right now, just focus on the uh, coding part. Sorry, designing part, what I'm doing, right? So here you can see learn Laravel in one hour. You can see video is there, okay? So I have give you a demonstration for the basic content, a full content and the video. Okay. So the last option is, let's say if I want to add images, no problem. We have option that. Okay. So here you can see we have four articles. You can filter out this article by category. You can delete it. You can uh, filter by the dates and you can also search from here. Okay. Okay. So what is next? The next option is tag. Tags you know very well. We have created Akas and WordPress tag, and this tag is related to this particular post. Okay, so now let's say, uh, what is media? So media means you can upload your photographs, you can upload your uh, media like uh, images, video, documents, spreadsheet, and so many things are there. So just click on the Add New. So it will ask you for the drop your files over here and you can select it. So if I click on the select here, let's say in my pictures, there will be some photographs. Okay. So I will select, let's say this photo or maybe this photo. Okay. So it's done within a second. You can see the photo is uploaded. Okay. So let's say if I want to upload more photos, just again, click on this and you can select this photo. So again, this photo uh, taken some time because it's uh, around uh, 7 to 8 MBs, right? 
So by clicking on this, you can select your photos and you, it will be automatically uploaded over here. But let's say if I want to modify, if I want to uh, change the size of the photo, just click on this photo and we have one option for edit image. And let's say if you want to do some SEO for images, right? You can specify the alternate text, you can specify the caption, you can specify the description. So let's say uh, if you go to Google, if you search for the Akash Padia, so inside the images, you can see there are so many images are there, right? So let's say if you want to uh, display your images in Google like this, then so make sure you will specify some SEO base name over here, right? Right. But let's say if I want to edit this image without any Photoshop tools, just click on this. Here we have some uh, tools over here. You can see you can rotate your image, rotate left, rotate right. You can flip, you can crop your image, right? So this is the basic stuff that you can do over here. So for that, no need for Photoshop or maybe Paint, right? Simply you can do from the your WordPress panel itself, okay? So it's done. So what is media? I hope you got this point. What is media and how to upload photographs over here. So what is next? Next is pages. Yeah, you will get certificate in two to three days. Please focus on the topic, right? I will give you a feedback link at the end of this webinar. Just hold on. Okay. So now let's say if I click on the ad, now what is page? So there is a difference between post and page. So whenever you are creating a post, it will be automatically visible in your home page, right? But what is page? So let's say post means uh, post means what? Let's say if you want to create a blog, right? So daily you are updating something in your website that is called as a blog. So for that you can use the post. But let's say uh, I want to update some pages. So professional website. If you want to create a professional website, then page is a best option. So in post you can uh, add the comments, but in pages there will be a no option for the comments okay so for blogging purpose you can go with the post and the professional website you can go with the pages option so let's say i want to create three pages over here home page about us and contact us okay so now let's say if i click on the sample page by default they are providing a sample page right but let's say if i want to create one more page so go to your admin panel and in, inside the admin panel, you can see we have pages option. Okay, so if I click on the add new, so add new, you can specify about me. Hey, my name is Akas Padia, and simply I want to add my photographs over here. So click on the plus here, you can see. You can select the either image or you can select the uh, gallery. So if I click on the image, either you can upload your photographs or you can select from the media gallery. And we have third option that is an insert from URL. But we have already added image in, in the media. So if, if I click on this, you will get two options again, upload and media. So in media, you can see my photograph is there. So select this and just click on the select so it's done but i know the photo size is very large so you can decrease this you can resize it okay like this and you can also uh, specify the margin left align center right so you can do like this okay so i think it's done okay so now what i will do just click on the publish and publish again so your page is created successfully just go to your website and here you can see about me and it's done. Same thing, I want to add one new page for the contact us. So click on the pages, add new again. So name it contact and inside the contact, what I will do, I will write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And just click on the publish and publish. So if I click on this website, so here you can see about me and contact. We have both option over here, about me and contact, okay? 
So I think it's done. How to create pages? It's very easy. And inside the pages, you can add any blocks, right? So let me create a new page for the gallery because let's say whenever you are creating a professional website, maybe there will be a page for the gallery. In gallery, you, you can display your portfolio, your photographs, etc. So what I will do, just go to your admin panel again and click on the uh, pages, add new. So here I will select gallery. Okay. So in gallery, there will be no content. Only we have to select the photographs. So if I click on the publish and that is option of gallery, right? So click on this gallery option and then you can select media again. And here actually I have two photogra photographs and it is not suitable for the gallery. So select the folder again, select the files, one, two, three and four and five and six. So one, two, three, just click on the open. It will take maybe one minute, right? And it's done. Almost it's done. So what is next? So let's say uh, I want to create one gallery. So create, click on the create new gallery. So you can select these two photographs. Just click on the create new gallery, right? So once you are ready, just click on this and okay. And here you can see uh, my photographs is selected. And again, you if you want to specify some caption, you can specify the caption and just click on the insert gallery. So here you can see the photographs is added successfully. And you can specify the columns, two columns, three columns, four columns, five columns and six columns, right? So it will automatically adjust as per the numbers, okay? And let's say if I click on the particular image, then what will be uh, operation will be done. So it will open the image, right? So it's linked to media file. And then just click on the publish and then it's done. So if I refresh this, you can see gallery page is there and we have this photographs over here. So if I click on particular folder or particular image, so you can see the website is, uh, the image is in full screen mode, okay? So I think it's done. We have created about us, contact us, gallery. We also have seen the, uh, how to create blocks, right? How to add the images. Now let's focus on the designing part because I know it's not a looking good website, but it's okay, but yes, before starting the theme, let me give a demonstration for the menu. Don't worry, I will give you a demonstration for the comments. So let's move on the menu. I want to specify menu as per my own choice. So right now you can see a uh, sample page is there. I don't want the sample page. I want to change the priority of this menu. So priority will be maybe about then contact and then maybe gallery. Okay. So I can see the comments, a uh, very informative session, how to different themes while creating a website. Don't worry, I will give you a demonstration for that. Add to cart in PHP with session and MySQL, please sir, one project. Yes, you can visit my YouTube channel. We I already uploaded video, how to create e-commerce website in PHP, right? Thank you, session sir. Okay. Neha, how to do theme customization after downloading any themes. So it will work, look like perfect website. Yes. Uh, give me a five minutes. I will give you a demonstration for that. Okay. So again, back to our website. I hope you guys are enjoying this webinar and you are getting the point in a proper way, right? So you can hit the uh, comments in the chat section. So I will get some motivation from the chat. Okay. Okay. So now just click on the WP inside the WP. Uh, we have appearance and menu, right? So in menu, you can see by default, uh, there will be no menu. So let's say, just open your website, okay? So this is my admin panel and this one is my user panel, okay? So close this. So here, I want to specify on menu over here. So specify the menu name. So menu one, let's say, if I click on the create, then we have so many options over here. Guys, don't worry, I will do a QA section at the end of a uh, webinar. So be your question with you. As a usual, excellent session, thank you. 
So here we can see we have pages, we have posts, we have custom links and categories. So what I want to do, first I want to do uh, pages. So you can select the all pages, let's say home, about us and contact us and gallery. You can see we have we have not created any home page, but by default, WordPress is providing a home option, right? So simply what I will do, just click on the add menu. Okay, so it's done. So here you can see home, about, contact, but I want to change the priority. So just drag and drop over here. Okay, so now it's done home, about, gallery and contact. So you can specify uh, where you want to display this menu. By default in WordPress, we have so many, uh, so many, uh, so many options are there. So you can select the desktop horizontal, mobile menu and footer. Okay, so if I save the menu and you can select this option. See my menu op option has been changed. So priorities also change home, about us and gallery and contact, right? Certificate you will get in three days. I told you again, right? So please uh, be with this webinar. Yes, yes, sir. The web webinar remains available in YouTube. Yeah, 24 by 7 with this same link, right? So home, about, gallery, and contact. So menu is ready. But let's say I want to add some categories over here, right? So select your categories. Select, click on the view all. You can select the programming, Laravel, Node.js, social media, Facebook and Instagram. So click on this and you can see uh, all the options are available in my menu. So if I save this menu, if I refresh this page, you can see. But it's not look good professional and uh, eye catching. So what I will do, just go to your website back. So here you can specify hierarchy, let's say programming. So you can simply drag in right hand side. So it is considered as a sub menu, same as for node and social media, Facebook and Instagram. So it's done. So this is called as a priority, right? So programming is a sub category. Laravel is a sub category and social media is also main category. So if I save this menu and if I refresh this, so you can see we have uh, multiple menus over here okay so yes we can edit the home page we can handle multiple uh, multiple person can handle the same website yes we have option for that uh, i will give you a demonstration for that okay so let's say a programming option is there social media is there okay so let's say if you want to add specific post you can add this specific post over here you can also specify the custom links let's say uh, whenever user wants to visit our official website, so simply this is akasa.com. If I click on the add menu, so you can see akasa.com option is there, right? So now if I click on the save menu, if I refresh this page again, and if I click on this, this is not a part of my website, but this is a third party website. So if I click on this, and it will redirect to my website. So it's done. So if you go to back, right? So again, we are back to our website. So this is called as a menu. Let's say if you want to create a multiple menu, you can create a new menu by clicking on this hyperlink, right? So this is a simple option, how to manage the menu. The second option is widgets, right? So widget is what? So let's say if I open my website in footer section, you can see there are so many options are there, recent post, archives, categories, meta and recent comments. But I want, I don't want this options. So simply just go to your website, inside the footer tag you can see we have this options. So I don't want this, then left hand side you can drag it like this. So it's done. And if I refresh this page, so it's done, right? But let's say if you want to add something over here, you can simply drag it, calendar, I want to display categories, I want to display gallery, right, I want to display number of pages. So if I refresh this page again, so here you can see it's done, right. 
So now you can see uh, we can add any widgets like this, just drag and drop, nothing else. So let's say if you want to uh, modify this menu, you can simply create a new menu, right? And you can assign this menu over, over here. Let's say I don't want to display this menu in a footer. So simply just click on this and save menu and the menu will be hidden. See. So you have to just focus on the uh, settings parts, nothing else. Okay. But let's say if I want to customize this website, right? I want to customize this website. So just click on the customize. So here you can see we can change the logo. Let's say uh, I don't have any logo right now. Mm, I don't have any logo, right? So it's okay. Let's say interest uh maybe but i don't have okay let's say sigma instead of engineering select and i want to crop particular part so this is also considered as a logo crop image so here you can see the logo is done right okay so what is next so next is let's say i want to remove this logo so remove this you can change the tagline akaspadiyarakasar.com. Okay. Feedback link will be given at the end of this webinar. So please be with me till the end of this webinar. Okay. So, so please, guys, uh, just wait for a few minutes. Yeah. What is meta? So, meta is used for the SEO purpose. So, let's say uh, you have to specify your title text, meta description, meta keywords. So, it is used for the SEO purpose. Okay. So you can specify the favicon icons. You can check your website in mobile friendly. Is it available or not? Okay. And you can change the color, template, background image, and so many things are there. Okay. And you can also specify some additional CSS over here. Okay. So now just close this. And again, back to your original website. Now what is next? Next, I want to add some themes over here. I hate this theme. It's not look good. It's not look professional, right? So just go to your website admin panel. We have an option. And just click on the uh, add new. So you will get so many themes over here, right? So you can see we have so many options over here. So if I, if I search for the blog, okay. So now we can see uh, maybe which one is good. It's very difficult to identify the themes in a first trial, but don't worry. I will try my best. Oops, there is some problem in my mouse. Okay, I think so. Mm, I'm not sure which one is good. Just hold on. Yeah, I'm a little bit faster. So just click on this install. I love this thing because we have one black option over here. So at least you will get something uh, new layout. So click on the install. It will download all the required files in your WordPress system. I hope you guys are enjoying again. Okay. So just click on the activate. So once you click on the activate, it will change your theme. And whenever you are installing new themes, you will get so many new options in your WordPress. So make sure uh, first you have test your theme in different laptop and in different WordPress. And if I refresh this page now, you will get a new layout. So you can see the theme has been changed, right? So it's look good compared to previous one, right? So we have menu, we have drop down menu over here. And we have this options so you can see we don't have any images over here so what I can do just click on the learn Laravel you can edit this post and you can select the featured image over here so you can select my photo and just click on the set featured and update this update so it's done so simply it's back to website visit site so it's done right 
So with the help of this option featured image, you can change your image over here. So I think it's almost done. We have created post. We have specified the blog about me gallery. You can see website looks good. Contact us. But yes, we need a contact form over here. I know you need the contact form, but don't worry. I will give you a demonstration for that. If you click on the programming, you will get uh, two articles, which is already there. If you click on the Laravel, we have one article for the video. If you click on the Node.js, we have command prompt article, right? If you click on the social media, we don't have any articles inside this category. And this is my website, okay? So let's say these are the pages and categories. We can modify this uh, options from the widget option, right? So appearance in widgets, you can simply uh, add or remove some widgets from this option. Okay, so what is next? Next is plugins. So guys, I will give you answer uh, at the end of this webinar. So don't worry. Uh, I can see your messages. Okay. So give me some time. I will give you all the answers. Okay. So let's say, uh, what is plugins? So let's say uh, I want to add some uh, third party tools. So there are so many WordPress developers are there. They are designing these kind of themes, right? By default, uh, you can design a theme in HTML, but you have to convert HTML to your WordPress. So first you have to learn the WordPress ecosystem. You know, first you have to learn how to uh, how to uh, WordPress is managing all these stuffs, right? And then you can design your theme. And if you want to take a look, just click on the appearance themes, right? So in editor section, theme editor, we have, see, you can specify or you can change the designing you can change the coding if you know the basics of PHP. So you can see this is a PHP code and WordPress code, right? So first you have to learn PHP, HTML, Bootstrap and WordPress ecosystem, okay? Then and then you can create a themes and plugins, right? But this is a non-technical topic today. So I'm not going to dip into this coding part. So if you don't know about the PHP, don't worry. Without any writing code, we can create this kind of website. Okay. So what is next? What is plugin? Plugins means, let's say if you are buying a mobile, let's say Android or iOS, there will be a default applications are there. But let's say WhatsApp is not a part of Android or iOS, but WhatsApp is developed by the Facebook. Same thing. Uh, we don't have any uh, third party options, but let's say if you want to install third party plugins, then WordPress developers are there. They are daily creating new plugins for the uh, third party features. Let's say if you click on this and here you will get so many options are there. I want one contact form in my WordPress website. But by default, WordPress is not providing this contact form. So what I can do, I can simply download a contact form 7 plugins. Right? So contact form 7 is a number one plugin to add contact form in your website. You can see five plus million active installation is there. You can see the compatible with the WordPress version and just click on the install. So again, we have to wait for 10 seconds, maybe depend on internet speed. Okay, so it's done. So if I click on the activate, so there will be a one mystery where is this option so here you can see the contact menu is there okay so if, if you click on the contact form okay so here you can see we have one contact form and this is called as a short code so short code means you can simply copy this code and paste it in your website or in your pages and let's go to your pages and just click on the contact and paste your short code here. Okay. So click on the update and you will get a contact form like this. So it's simply awesome. There is no coding part. So if I click on the send, there will be some validations, right? So without filling this detail, you cannot submit the form. Okay. So what is next? Next is, let's say if I want to add some values, if I want to some uh, add some uh, text boxes then so just click on the edit 
of your contact where is my contact just refresh this page again contact form and you can create any contact form and you can also modify this contact form just click on the edit so here you can see we have this course right let's say i want to add number option over here so simply copy this designing so change the name number and here you can specify one new text box so no worry you don't have to write any code just click on the text and do you make it a uh, required yes and just click on the insert tag so it's done so let's say whenever a uh, user is filling this form you will get a message in your admin at gmail.com and the format will be the same right if you want to specify some additional settings you can specify over here you can specify the messages and then just click on the save so once it's ready you can refresh this page okay so it's done you can see number option is there so if i click on the sand so number is also required okay so almost you know how to add various plugins let's say i want to add one more plugin so just go to plugin the search for So search for the uh, lightbox. So lightbox is one plugin which is used for the gallery purpose. Let's say if you want to display your gallery in a pop-up style. So simple lightbox. You can install any plugins, but I love this plugin, simple lightbox. Okay. So it's done. Just click on the activate. No need to do any setup for that. So if you go to your gallery page, if I click on the particular photo, you can see it's look like amazing, like because we have one pop-up box over here and you can see we can play, pause, we can close this, we can click on the navigate option, right? So it's done. So you know how to create a menu, how to add the plugins. And let's say this will be the last option, right? So users. So let's say if you want to uh, add multiple users and if you want to give some access to particular users, so just click on the add. I know few people are few people are not interested to watch the webinar till the end. So no problem, I will give you a feedback link. I think it's not interested. So it's okay, feedback form is already given okay so now what is next uh, yes okay let's say I want to add some users right so what I can do I can specify the users so you can specify the username you can specify the email and you can specify the roles we can add multiple users over here and we can also uh, specify the ro roles right admin means he can do anything in your website editor means he cannot manage the themes and your plugins and author means author means what author can only write the contents and contribute contributor means he can publish the content content but first author editor and admin will be moderated okay and subscriber means nothing it's only get a profile option over here so you can specify the roles okay and you can also manage your profile by just click on this you can specify the designing you can change the your name your about information and you can set the profile photo here okay so now okay it's done let me delete some plugins okay so now let's say if you want to specify some settings just go to general you can change the website name you can change the email id and you can change the date i want to uh, write some option let's say if you want some uh, mail reader issue mail reader settings you can specify then reading means what you want to display on your home page by default it display the blog but I want to display a specific page then you can specify over here right okay so discussion means what the comments you can enable disable the comments and media right in media you can see we can restrict the 
uh, image resize in a various format and permalink permalink means you can specify the SEO based URLs in your website so that's it we are done with this webinar today but don't worry we are here for 10 minutes okay so what is next let's say I will give you a demonstration for my blog so this is my sareditives.com blog in my website almost there are uh, 600 articles are there right I have created blog uh, during my college life I know I'm right now I'm not maintaining this blog at all but this is for just demonstration purpose so let's say if you want to earn something from the Google so first you can buy a domain name you can start a hosting and then you can create this kind of blog and once you are ready with the blog you can apply for the Google Adsense so with the help of Google Adsense you can earn something in a from your website so here I will give you some demonstration for that Google check right now actually I'm not working in the blogging section but once you are ready and you are getting good traffic and you will get something from the Google right so this is a payment proof which I got during my college life in 2011 right but right now I'm not focusing on the uh, Google Adsense right so this is just a basic information how to create a blog and let's say if you want to uh, know about the hostings so you can simply search for the Akash Padia in the YouTube and here inside the uh, my channel you will get some videos related to WordPress you can learn WordPress step by step we uh, I will uploaded 12 plus videos right you can uh, learn from this playlist and let's say if you want to learn uh, how to host your website right so here we have some videos how to buy domain names how to do hosting so maybe where is this video yes how to buy domain name how to upload your website in cpanel how to create a custom email and everything you will get from here okay so you can also refer various webinar is there in my youtube channel and different different technology php android laravel ios django right okay so let's get started with the uh, qa section and this is my contact information and the feedback form is already given and let's get started with the qa section so if you have any question get ready okay and you can also keep in touch with me on the various platforms okay so it's done okay so now okay so I hope you know uh, how to create a website with the help of WordPress in this section we learn about the WordPress what is WordPress how to create a website with the help of WordPress how to set up the menu how to create a post pages and media information okay so I'm waiting for your comments your feedback and your doubts you can feel free to contact me in the chat section okay so in second say uh, I can see your comments okay 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 so again thank you so much dr. Sesang Degalara sir for giving me this opportunity and Sigma Institute of Engineering and uh, sir user login feature in WordPress yes by default uh, WordPress is providing user login so with the help of user login humne uh, login kiya tha, right okay so any other questions so let me refresh this page okay yes I will provide an e-certificate uh, in next two to three days don't worry about it make sure you have filled the uh, registration details and the feedback form so how to add template from outside yes uh, as I told you before first you have to uh, know the basics of WordPress and then you have to customize as per the WordPress structure uh, can I add 3d simulator page in WordPress yes you can we have so many plugins in the WordPress hello sir how much just a second where is my yes hello sir how much one should know in PHP bootstrap for the WordPress you are talking about the uh, WordPress development or WordPress customization we have two different part 
WordPress customization and WordPress development. For customization, there is no requirement for the coding. But yes, if you want to do uh, some coding for the uh, plugins and uh, themes, then WordPress knowledge, uh, PHP and OOPS concept is required. I have an query, how to integrate a static website in WordPress to make a dynamic using PHP? You cannot do it, right? How secure is WordPress against hacking? <coughs> Sorry. Uh, let's say if you want to secure your website, don't use any null or uh, hack theme, right? So now, so many people are downloading a website themes in free of cost. I know they are available for the uh, hundred dollars or maybe fifty-five dollars. And don't use so many plugins in your website, so you can prevent it from the hackers. Sir, please send me tomorrow tomorrow webinar information. Okay. So if you want to get information about the daily uh, updates, you can ping me on my WhatsApp and make sure you will send your name. So I will save your numbers and you will get information from my status. And you can also uh, follow me on Instagram. You can also join my uh, different different channels, right? Sir, Sahi uh, Mayaj ne bahut kuch sikha hoon. Thank you. Very informative sense and thank you ma'am. As a professor, can you set up website using WordPress in a which students can log in access portal content? Yes, we can. WordPress themes are too much vulnerable to attacks. Can you arrange session for creating custom theme, please? Sure. But I think for that, we have to filter the audience because only a person who knows the basics of PHP, OOPS concept and WordPress structure, then and then he can join. Which framework is based? for PHP now in future also. See, today we learn about the CMS. Uh, framework means Laravel and Code Igniter, right? So framework means Laravel and CMS means WordPress. Sir, students are able to make a website for study this topic. Yes, you can. Pata nahi, aaj ka webinar, mene koi registration nahi kiya tha, tabhi mene dek liya, I'm lucky. That's great. So for WordPress development only, okay informative session thank you feedback link sir yes i will definitely share the feedback link with you don't worry okay so it's done please arrange a django framework webinar definitely uh, i'm waiting for the college confirmation once i will get the college confirmation then definitely i will arrange okay very energetic and informative session thank you thank you sir thank you janvi and thank you visal sir okay uh, yes, sir. Thank you. So, do you have any Telegram channel? Yes, we have Telegram Telegram channel. So, it's artasir.com. So, you can visit this Telegram channel. I am very updated with the social media. Very informative session. Thank you. Jugal, hello, sir. Yes, Jugal. Okay. Okay. So, uh, you can connect with me on all the social media platforms if you want to connect with me right so i will share the details with you so upcoming webinars let's say if you want to join my upcoming webinars i will share the link okay so it's done so you you can see this is my contact details and this are the my handlers akas padiyar and akasa.com and akas Labs, right and this is my hashtag you can simply search this hashtag and you will get all the details okay so i think so uh i'm done with this webinar so there is no more comments, no more feedbacks. Uh, brew Blogspot versus WordPress. Uh, WordPress is best. Any plugin using which students can verify their C++ and Python code? No. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Display page at two card session and order in PHP, MySQL, in Hindi or English, please, sir. It's already there in my YouTube channel. Nice session. Thank you, Nati. WordPress Joomla, which one is secure? Everyone is secure, but make sure you are not installing any third party application or plugins. Let's say Android is also secure, right? But let's say uh, once you install third party application, it becomes vulnerable. Let's say same example of Paytm is uh, vulnerable with the AnyDesk. AnyDesk is vulnerable, right? So same thing in here. If you are installing any third party plugins, third party uh, website, then it will become a vulnerable. Next webinar on which topic? I'm not sure. Yes, tomorrow there will be a webinar on the online e-learning platforms at 10 o'clock. You can subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon. You will get a notification whenever I'm delivering a webinar with the YouTube live. 
थैंक सो मच फॉर द एक्सलेंट वेबिनार सर थैंक यू एक्सलेंट थैंक यू सर इन फ्यूचर जावा डेफिनेटली आई नो वेरी वेल केतन नाइस प्रेजेंटेशन सर थैंक यू आई हैव बीन मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ ट्यूटोरियल इन इंग्लिश बट आई हैव नेवर सीन सच अ सिंपल और इजी प्लेस यू रियली हैव अ कीप ट्राइंग थैंक यू सो मच आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड वीडियोस वीडियोस ऑन हिंदी गुजराती एंड इंग्लिश सो हाउ टू ऐड पीएचपी कोड इन डब्ल्यूपी देयर इज वन प्लगइन विद द हेल्प ऑफ यू कैन इंस्टॉल इट डू यू हैव एन वेबिनार इन पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग यस रिसेंटली आई हैव टेकन वीडियोस वेबिनार ऑन जेंगो राइट सो यू कैन विजिट माय YouTube चैनल वेरी नाइस सेशन टिल थैंक यू सुचिता ओके सो फाइनली गाइस आई थिंक सो लेट मी गिव यू सम डेमोस्ट्रेशन कितने लोग देख रहे हैं ये वेबिनार लेट मी रिफ्रेश दिस पेज राइट नाउ ओके सो 137 पीपल स्टिल वाचिंग दिस वीडियो थैंक यू एनी क्वेश्चंस गाइस इफ यू डोंट हैव एनी क्वेश्चन देन आई विल एंड अप दिस वेबिनार सो यू कैन डू द क्यू एस सेक्शन और यू कैन डू द कम्युनिकेशन विद मी नेक्स्ट टाइम पाइथन प्लीज यस श्योर मे बी सैटरडे देर विल बी अ पाइथन वेबिनार नॉट सैटरडे फ्राइडे and saturday there will be a digital marketing thank you so much sir thank you okay please do webinar on hacking right uh, i will try because i am not feeling comfortable doing webinar on the hack hacking okay sir webinar on java sure okay so finally guys thank you so much for joining this webinar and thank you all the students all the faculty members from the different different cities in india right and special thank to dr sesan degadwala sir sigma institute of engineering college for giving, giving me this opportunity to deliver this webinar for you okay so how to do registration just go to the description there will be a registration link so you can fill up the registration link registration form and also send the feedback then and then you will get a certificate right and make sure you will fill the right details so that you will get a email in your inbox yeah machine learning Okay, so guys, if you have any question, I will share my WhatsApp link. You can ping me over there. Okay, so be in keep in touch with me, so you will get more information. I have some basic information. So the data from where saved in the database? Yeah, all the data is stored in the MySQL database. Okay. Hmm. Chaitali, Chaitali, thank you. Vishal, thank you very much. Santani, Parma, Jasmine, please arrange machine learning very well. Uh, webinar, Bihar, thank you. Where is the database to store data in WordPress? By default, it will store in the MySQL database, right? So if you refresh your page, you will get a data feedback link. Yes, again feedback link. Where is feedback? Uh, see, it's done. Okay. So it's time to end this webinar now. I think it's around uh, one third. Seventy-seven minutes is gone. Thank you, Sasan sir. Okay. Okay. So finally, guys, see you next time in next topic. Till then, you can start your WordPress website. If you are facing any problems, you can ping me in any social media platforms. Okay, and keep connect with me so you will get more updates. And I hope during this uh, lockdown situation, you will be at home. so stay home stay start learning something new and you can create your own website and you can host it on the wordpress yeah my link is there uh, i let me give you again the whatsapp so you can ping me over there and make sure you will write your name and your questions okay so bye bye stay home stay safe thank you so much